Want to hear some of your favorite gospel artists sing live on the spot? Then visit gospelsingingonthespot.com. There you will hear artists like Zael, Ernest Pugh, Dwayne Woods, and Vicky Winans. Visit gospelsingingonthespot.com today. But he wants you to learn how to endure. Amen. See, two months ago, I lost the most important person in my life outside of Jesus. A woman that I met on the playground in the third grade. Went to elementary school, junior high school, high school together. She went off to college and I stayed home and went to school. And she came back and I was in ministry. I knew I needed a wife in order for me to do what I wanted to do in ministry. Dated her for two years, was married to her for 16 years. And the 16th year, she was diagnosed with cancer. Being a man of faith and power, having trusted God. As long as I have, people ask me, what were we going to do? And I told them, I said, I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing for the last 16 years. All right, all right, all right. I'm just going to believe God. Believe God, trust God. Good job. My wife went through chemotherapy and we confessed the word and we declared the word and we spoke the word over our life and we read together on a consistent basis. Yes, yes. My faith never wavered. Because I just trust God. Two months ago on the 9th of September, I kissed her. Because even though the doctors said that there was nothing else that they could do, I told the doctors, you all practice medicine. But God is a healer. We had discussed that I was in a contractual obligation that I couldn't get out of. She told me, don't worry about nothing. You got to take care of the family. Just go ahead and do what you need to do. I looked at her that morning, the knife. I kissed her on the forehead. And I told her I would see her in the morning. I got on the plane. Flew to Houston. Got off the flight. And my phone rang and it was my mother-in-law telling me that my wife had gone home to be with the Lord. Immediately I turned back around and I got on the plane and I rode back and got in my car and my brothers met me at the airport. I got in my car and I began to drive home. There was a song that was playing on my radio but when I walked in my house, I saw my wife's lifeless body lying there in the bed. My son immediately grabbed me and yelled on to me because he saw me getting weak. And I began to ask God the question over and over again. God, you got to make this make sense. This doesn't make sense to me. I'm a 43-year-old man with a 16, a 13, and 11-year-old child children. Tons of responsibility. I make my living traveling and preaching and singing the gospel of Jesus Christ. I don't have a normal job. I don't punch a clock. My wife was not only my wife, but she was my manager. She negotiated all of my contractual obligations. She took care of my home. She managed our church. All of the properties. She, she did everything. All I had to do was get up in the morning, pack my clothes, go preach and sing. And for 18 years of marriage, that's what I did. And now, my rock that was next to my rock is no longer there. I stood there with tears rolling down my face. God, make this make sense. Make this make sense. See, because when you, when you, when you, when, when it's one thing for you to preach it. challenge everybody else to hold on to it and receive it. But when you got to live through it yourself, it's 
a whole other story. But while I was in the house, the song that I was listening to on the way home began to comfort me. Began to encourage me because I kept asking God, what am I going to do? God, I can't cook. I don't do hair. See, those are simple things that y'all don't think about. But God, God told me, he said, don't worry about it, Marvin, because I told him, I said, I couldn't even fall asleep. But there was so much on my mind. I was searching for But no peace I could find. Ooh, it's when I need That I don't have to cry. Yeah. But I supply all your needs. And as soon as I stop worrying, worrying how the story will end, I let go and I, I let God. I let God have His way. That's when the things start happening. When I stop looking at that thing, I let go and I let go. Let go and play. Listen, so let go. situations that you will keep me in perfect peace if I just keep my mind stayed on it. See, some of y'all are going through some crazy situations and you don't know how you're going to get through it. But I stand here and tell you that if you hold on to God, He'll hold on to you. Oh, I can't get no help up in here by myself. You're not going to go crazy under the pressure. The devil is a liar. You're not going to lose your mind. You're not going out like no sucker. You're not going out like no chump. Why? Because greater is He. That's what they do. Attack your neighbor. Look him in the face real fast and tell him, say, you are on top and rising higher. Oh, I wish somebody would just touch your neighbor. Some of y'all still looking at me. Tell somebody I'm on top and I'm rising. The devil is alive. 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 I'm not going to lose my mind. You can take everything I've got, but it's alive. Somebody say, as long as I got Jesus, I can start all over again. Oh, I wish you just tell somebody that. Just tell them for me one time. Tell them, say, as long as I got Jesus, I can start all over. I gotta take that a little further. Just tell them, say, as long as I got Jesus, I can start all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
picture that ain't the time to fold, flip out, act out, nor fall out. But that's the time to lift up your hands and know that God is up to something. And since he's Want to hear some of your favorite gospel artists sing live on the spot? Then visit GospelSingingOnTheSpot.com. There you will hear artists like Zael, Ernest Pugh, Dwayne Woods, and Vicky Winans. Visit GospelSingingOnTheSpot.com today.